Guys, how we doing? It's been a few weeks. Um, I haven't been home. <laughs> so I haven't done a vlog and I haven't been in the studio and whatnot. So I've been on tour for a few weeks and it's been awesome. Um, I did a, a series of shows with an artist from New York by the name of John Cameron Mitchell. And John uh, wrote and starred in the show Hedwig and the Angry Inch um, and the movie. And I did that show here in Melbourne, I did the season in Melbourne about 10 or 11 years ago. And John came out and did um, a series of dates around Australia, which was really awesome. Such a great artist and a, and a real uh, pleasure to work for. Just really, really awesome time. The band was smoking, it was great. Really good time. Um, so we started out, the first show was at the Adelaide Cabaret Festival at uh, Festival Theatre in Adelaide. And then we did uh, Sydney Opera House. We did Hamer Hall, uh, QPAC, so Queensland Performing Arts Centre or Arts Theatre, I can't remember what it's called, and then Canberra as well. Um, yeah, which was which was really awesome. And then in the middle of that, it was a pretty busy time because in the middle of that, I flew to Macau and did a corporate gig with uh, Bjorn again, which is the top ABBA tribute band in the world. They've been going for actually next year, 30 years. So that was. Um, that was in the mix as well. So it's been a really, really busy time just the last few weeks, just sort of learning everything and making sure everything is smooth and all happening. Anyway, all went really, really well, but it just meant that I wasn't at home filming lessons or vlogs. So here we are, we're doing one now. Um, so this week in the videos, um, I'm showing you guys um, a little warm up pattern essentially. And as I say, say in the videos, it, it, it's it's quite a good video for a number of reasons. It, of course, it, it, it warms up, you know, the, the fingers and the wrists and the forearms and the arms and all that sort of stuff, and, that, and that's really important. But it also um, does a, a couple of other things. Um, it warms up the torso because it's a, both a clockwise and an anti-clockwise um, pattern, and that's really important because when we play drums, we twist a lot, so we use the oblique muscles. There's three layers of abs in the body. Um, and the ones that the middle layer are the obliques which are like a mesh on the side of your body and they help you twist like that side to side or like that and of course we use the, the rotational one when we play drums drum kit for most people as I said in the video the way that we set up our drum kits usually isn't symmetrical so you know when like even though I'm left-handed and left-footed I play a right-handed setup as do most people and what that really means is that you've got the majority of the drums and cymbals, you're either playing them from the center plane around to the right, but you're very rarely, for most people, playing from the center plane around to the left, unless you set your kit up backwards, which is called left-hand setup. Um, so it's, it's, I think it's really important that you do develop some strength twisting left, and this pattern that I show in the videos um, seeks to achieve that because you go whatever number of uh, strokes on each drum that you're playing, you go around to the right and then you reverse the pattern and come back up to the left. Importantly, it also teaches you how to lead with your left hand. So if you are going to the left, say you're on the floor tom and you're coming back up the toms, if you are going anti-clockwise, therefore to the left, um, it's preferable if you can lead with your left hand because it just means that you're not going to be cross sticking trying to lead with your right. And likewise, when you're going clockwise, try and lead with your right hand. It's not always going to be possible. There are some patterns that just, for whatever reason, they're just really a bit quirky and they don't kind of fit under the hands very well and you just have to kind of tough it out, you know, and, and just force it over the line. But if, if you can lead with your left hand going anti-clockwise, of course, it's, it's recommended. So that's a really good uh, thing. And the, the other thing that's really good about the pattern is um, it warms up the brain in a sense as far as um, you, you'll need to check out the videos, but the, the first video you're doing uh, two beats of 16 triplets on each drum and then you quickly move to one beat and that's okay because you're still moving to a new drum at the start of every beat but very quickly it gets quite complex when you start moving on every fourth 16th triplet now we know 16th triplets are six per beat one two three four five six two two three four five six three and as soon as you start going four one two three 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 four one against that pulse this is still the pulse then it becomes really tricky. And you'll want to put a click on and, and make sure you're doing it with a click, just making sure that you know, everything's really locking in. 
and then eventually you'll go down to two. One, two, 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 one. So two on each drum. Um, pay attention in the videos to where I do the extra right hand if you want to go back up the drums, leading with the left. That'll ensure that whether you're playing 12 notes, 6 notes, 4 notes, or 2 notes, that you're leading with your left going anti-clockwise, which as we just talked about is important. And yeah, so it's a really good exercise. So when you when you are practicing anything, you want to practice exercises that challenge you in more than one way. Like if you're just doing a specific thing, like you, you, know, you really want to work on being able to go diggeting, 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 diggeting with your right hand or something, and you're working on the finger thing, that's fine. But if you can do exercises that really challenge you as far as the counting is concerned and the phrasing as well, then that's that's like extra, extra cool. All right, because it's just it's developing a, a broader skill set all within the same exercise. Okay, so you know we're all these days we're all pretty time poor. So you know if you can use exercises that challenge you in different ways all at the same time, then they're probably the most effective. So yeah, go ahead and check out the videos. Um, had a lot of fun filming them. My camera died, so I've only got one extra angle. Normally we've got four or five running, but anyway, you'll get the point. And yeah. Hope you enjoy them, and we will see you next week. See ya.